This is the first lesson that we're going to be looking at rates and graphing, and this is going to be an application of slope, and we're going to start looking at equations of lines. Now, we're going to consider an example where Aspen has a part-time job at a call center, and her earnings are shown in this graph. And if we take a look at this graph, and we can answer some questions, such as how much did she earn for working uh, various numbers of hours. So the first example, we're asked how much did she earn for working four hours. So we go to the graph, find four for number of hours, which is on our horizontal axis, and then we read straight up till we hit the graph, and then we go across to find out her earnings for that number of hours. So for working four hours, she earns $50. Same thing, next example, we have to figure out how much she earns for six hours. So six is approximately here, read up till we hit the graph and then go across and we find that she earns $75 for working a six hour shift. In the last example we want to know how much did she earn for working a 12 hour shift so we find 12 which is just a little bit less than halfway between 10 and 15 and draw a line straight up and go uh, until we hit the graph and then go across until we find out how much she earns, and that's $150 for working a 12-hour shift. So what we're going to do now is take a look at this, because one of the things that you might be interested in if you have a part-time job would be what's your hourly rate of pay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a formula for this, and this is going to be familiar um, to you because the rate is the change in the dependent variable divided by the change in the independent variable. And so if we look at the graph, Remember that our dependent variable is always given on the y-axis, and our independent variable is always represented on the horizontal axis. So what we're going to do is take our pay and divide it by the number of hours worked. So the first example, where it was $50 for working a four-hour shift, we just take 50 and divide it by four, and that comes out to be $12.50 per hour. The second example, where it was $75 for working a six-hour shift, well, we take 75, divide it by six, and this is the pay divided by the number of hours, and we get $12.50 per hour. And in the last example, $150 for working a 12-hour shift, well, that makes it $12.50 per hour. And one thing I want to emphasize right now, which I should have before, is that dependent variable is always assigned when something depends on something else. And in this case, your pay depends on the number of hours you work. And that's very critical that you start thinking about identifying dependent and independent variable this way. So moving on, looking at another example, we want to know what the slope of the line is. And we're going to pick two points on the line. It doesn't matter what two points you pick because the slope between any two points on a line is always going to be the same because the slope never changes on a line. Now, if we pick this point and we're going to pick the po other point we're looking at, which was 12. So we're going to go from here. We want to know what the slope is of the line is between here and here. So if we go up from this point and this is $50, and then up to 150 Well, that's a rise of 100 as you go from 50 up to 150 And our run here, we recall that this was at 4, and this was 12. So we're going from 4 hours up over to 12 hours. So that means that's a run of 8, because 4 plus 8 is 12. So what we're going to do now is use our slope of line equation, which is rise over run. And our rise is 100 from up here. Our run is 8. And so when you take 100 and divide it by 8, you get an answer of 12.5. And you should recognize that this is the same thing as $12.50 per hour. So our slope is the exact same thing as our rate of pay. And this is really going to become critical that you understand that slope is rate. Now, we're also going to take a look at this a different way. And slope is also the change in the dependent variable divided by the change in the independent variable. And what we can do is use our formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And so if we go back to our graph 
and we consider the points. Remember, this was 12, 150, and 4, and 50. And so what we're going to do is assign these coordinates as x2 and y2, and these as x1 and y1. And so when we sub into our equation, we get 150 minus 50 over 12 minus 4. So that means the slope of our line is 100 over 8. And this is equal to 12.5. And again, this means that the slope of the line is equal to $12.50 per hour. And once again, slope is rate. Now, one of the other things we have to start thinking about is we We've been uh, talking about slope in the past, but we've also been talking about y-intercept, and we have to realize that that is an important part of identifying the equation of a line. And we don't have y here. It's rather, we've got to think about this as pay, even though it's on our y-axis. So the y-intercept is where it crosses the vertical axis, and we want to know how this relates to our pay. Well, it crosses at 0, 0, so that means the y-intercept of the line is 0. And when we're asked how does this relate to her pay, we just want to know how does this intercept relate to how much she's paid. Well, she doesn't work any hours. Well, Aspen doesn't get paid. Simple as that. So the next thing we want to type of question we want to look at is we want to know what is the equation of the line. Remember that the equation of the line is given in the form y equals mx plus b. We're going to change this around a little bit, but it's still the same idea. Uh, we're going to Remember that the slope, the intercept of this line is zero from the previous question. And earlier, we found the slope of the line was 12.5, her rate of pay. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our dependent variable, which is on our y-axis. So this is our vertical axis. And that's going to be our pay. And we're going to let our pay be represented by E as opposed to P. And what we're going to do is instead of using y, we're going to use e. And for our independent variable, which is on our horizontal axis, it's usually our x, but here we're going to, it's our number of hours. So we're going to let um, our independent variable be represented by h. And what we're going to do now is take the equation y equals mx plus b, which is the equation of the line, and e, remember, is our dependent variable. M is our slope, so that's 12.5, and our independent variable is H, which is a number of hours, and our B is zero from our y-intercept. So this is our dependent variable, 12.5 is our slope, H is our independent variable, and our y-intercept is zero. And we can just leave out the plus zero. So our equation then is E equals 12.5 H. And what this means is that our Aspen's earnings are calculated by multiplying the number of hours she works by 12.5 or her hourly rate. So now that you've uh, tried one example, what I want you to do is try this question and after doing so, move on and check your answer on the next video.